Jean de Buffet's Le Gai Savoir from 1963 is just a fantastic uh, outburst of pure urban emotion. These two wonderful figures documenting their joie de vivre in the heyday of Parisian culture is all encapsulated in, in this incredible painting. It's a huge scale for de Buffet and it comes out of his celebrated series Paris Circus, which was really, in my opinion, one of the first examples of, of street art. An artist who was really trying to encapsulate the urban existence. And you have these two city slickers at the middle of the painting, romantic embrace, the female and the male. She's got her, her heels and they're really dancing to the urban tune. De Buffet is, you know, in, in my opinion, one of the most undervalued post-war artists that we work with. He reached this crescendo in, 19, in the early 60s with the Paris Circus series. And then he began to develop the other but most famous series, the All Loop series. And this painting is really between those two series. He's, he's developing this style of, of um, caricature or character playing by doodling and then blowing up on a huge scale. And when he painted them, he tried to replicate that, that, feel, that look and feel of the biro and the doodle. And here in this painting, you see the textural difference between the, the, the city behind them and the way that that's documented and the way that the, the texture is built up in the figures themselves. Um, so it's really a, quite a unique painting in his oeuvre. De Buffet was a big influence on Jean-Michel Basquiat and I think that the, the street art movement that developed in, in New York in the 80s when the, the, the centre of power moved from Paris to New York and all these artists that developed in New York in the 80s I think owe a great debt to De Buffet. And even today, the likes of Banksy and the street art that we see today in, in, in Britain and all over the world I think a lot of it comes, it has, finds its origins in, in Jean de Buffet. So, in many ways, an artist that has been, I think, undervalued culturally and undervalued uh, in the marketplace. And I hope that will change with this painting.